describing one of the protagonists of the beginning of the scientific revolution is certainly not easy doing. Francis Bacon is one of the most important Englishmen of the 16th century. He was born on the 22nd of January 1561, in London, from a wealthy family. In fact, he was son of the Chancellor of Queen Elizabeth. Lots of rumors are still alive about Francis Bacon's birth. For example, it's said that he was natural son of the Queen and he was the hidden writer of William Shakespeare plays. He studied at Cambridge University and, finished the school, spent some years in Paris following the English ambassador in France. He then came back to England and started an exciting political career. He quickly became general lawyer in 1607, then in 1613 general attorney and, in 1618, Lord Chancellor. This position allowed him to lead the principal justice courts. In 1621 Francis Bacon was accused of corruption and, helped by his powerful friendships in the royal court, he had saved his life, but he had to renounce to every political function and retire himself to private life. He died in 1626. He's been one of the most important philosophers of the 16th century. He is probably the father, together with Galileo, of the modern scientific method. He wrote many essays, including politics and logical ones. The most famous are the Utopia essay called, The New Atlantis and the document against Aristotle called, The Notum Organum. His major theories are the Utopia of the city of Ben Salem contained in, The New Atlantis and the creation of a new way to define a scientific working. According to the general climate of changing, Francis Bacon tries to put order in the old conception of the method, still stopped since Aristotle age. Bacon wants to remove mistakes written in Aristotle compositions and, in order to do this, he wrote the Novum Organum, that takes together all the new learning method to make the nature something to study in a scientific way. But without using mathematics, that's why Bacon didn't discover anything. In the New Atlantis, Francis Bacon imagines a hidden island, lists in the middle of the Atlantic Ocean. It's a polemic essay against Plato's Crisia, who reported the myth of Atlantis. The Baconian city is an organism where everybody lives in peace and science is the ethic of all the people. In fact, Ben Salem is a technocracy, where scientists rule the government and are considered the most important people. The thing people live for is the getting forward of the city in scientific research. Technocracy has been used by Bacon in 16th century. Why is Italy using it in the 21st century?